This is the video of hysteroscopic radiation lysis. Uh, this is a case of infertility patient with a scanty period and severe acidman syndrome. And let's see how we proceed and we do this. We are using 2.9 hysteroscope with better chisheth and we are trying to negotiate to put it in the cervical canal but you can see a little goes in the cervical canal but then you can't see anything. So what we are trying to do is it is a fluid which is trying to restrain the cervix and then at the isthmus it's not negotiating so unnecessary we don't want to produce a false passage. So we started with putting a scissor in the operating shed and then we have done little additions near the isthmus and then we will try to negotiate and enter inside the uterine cavity but you can see there are additions everywhere it means you know it's extremely difficult now to make sure that you are not producing making a false passage what you have to do is withdraw your hysteroscope see the cervical crypts make sure that yes you are not in a false passage but it is in the cavity part of the cervical canal so this is how you have to withdraw this is how you have to withdraw and you have to make sure uh, before proceeding this is how you go on cutting and this is on the left lateral wall with the scissor you can see this is how we cut uh, uh, it is always better to withdraw and make sure that you are in the cavity part uh, and, 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 and do additionalizes under reason don't do if you can't see anything if you get a pink tissue that means it's not endometrium in additions but it is a myometrium so don't cut otherwise it will produce perforation so you can see the additions right now in the cavity also everywhere so this is in the mid part of the cavity I'm just cutting you can see that the additions and I'm little part of the endometrium you can see and, and further additions here so this is how you go on continuing radiolysis on right lateral wall this is the right lateral wall you go on cutting like this and when you cut then you see that the cavity opens up because it is fluid pressure which also opens up the cavity that's the principle of hysteroscopic radiation lysis that's the advantage of hysteroscopic radiation lysis lysis not only the scissor but the fluid also works in in, in, in removing the flimsy additions so this is how you have to go on cutting like this remain perpendicular to the left lateral wall your goal should be to see the ostium goal should be to see the ostium and withdraw your scope near the internal os, near the isthmus and then see that how triangular cavity has been formed and then you can further continue doing adacialysis uh, near the hand uh, fundus also and while you're doing it the corner line you have to be very careful because sometimes it's very thin and you may produce perforation so while working near the corner line you have to be little careful and cut it just few flimsy superficial adhesion band this is again a right lateral wall remain like this again you have to be very careful because here uh, uh, you have to be very careful because you may not reach up to the uh, vascular uterine basis or lateral wall now this is the fundal part this is the fundal part you can see that how much you will go on doing a radiolysis in the fundus when you can see both the ostium simultaneously or when you withdraw your tip of the scope you should able to see the triangular cavity Sometimes you may not able to see the ostia, but then you can appreciate the triangle cavity being formed. So that much laterally, when you withdraw your scope, you should able to see the os. That is the uh, lateral extension of radicalisis you can do. And in your frontal radicalisis, when you see the pink tissue, you stop cutting. Otherwise, it will produce perforation. You can see the triangle cavity form. Can you appreciate this? This is how this is the triangular cavity is formed, and this is how we do the radicalisis. Uh, uh, for